If you are a long-term iPhone user, then you might be aware of the fact that you can back up your iPhone over the iCloud as long as you can fit your data inside the 5 gigabytes provided by Apple for free. But if you have tons of useless pictures and videos like I do, you would have to purchase an iCloud Plus plan just to realize that is still not enough and since you are looking for a free way to do this then you probably don't want to back up your iPhone over the iCloud at all. Another way would be to use that annoying and outdated iTunes and back up your iPhone locally onto your computer. But the thing is, no one really understand how it works. Reason why, in today's video I want to show you a really quick and easy way to back up your iPhone onto your computer for free. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> now in order to do this you're going to need your iPhone, what the? a Windows computer and a lightning cable. Well, not this one, this one is nearly saying, let me die in peace. You then need to head over to this website right here and download the software called Yearmob iPhone Manager. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can just click on it and you will be taken to this exact same page. So click on free download and proceed with the installation. I forgot to mention that if you are looking for a way to back up your iPhone on your Mac, you can use this software on Mac OS as well. Right, so click on the file you just downloaded and follow the steps shown on the screen. Click on install. Click on launch. And that's all. Dear Mob iPhone Manager is now installed on your computer. Now what you want to do next is connect your iPhone to your computer using the lightning cable. The first time you do this you should get a notification on your iPhone asking you if you trust this computer so just tap on trust after which you should see in the top left corner of this windows details about your device which means that your iPhone is now connected to your computer. Now from the start you can probably see why I chose this software over iTunes. The interface is way more easier to use, way more intuitive, especially if you are not that tech savvy. So you can basically back up your iPhone on your computer with the touch of a button. But beside this, you get all these additional features as well, which are extremely useful, or at least I personally use them on a daily basis. So you can perform selective backups of all your media files from here without the risk of losing files or getting unexpected errors like it might happen sometimes on iTunes. But I'll let you discover all these other features on your own. In today's video we're just going to focus on how to back up your iPhone on your computer. To do that you need to click on backup and restore and on the next page you're going to see an option to select the path where you want to save your backup. By default it's going to be on the C drive but if you want to change that you can do it. Just make sure you have plenty of storage available. Another feature allows you to encrypt your backup. So if you tick this box right here you will be prompted to set your password. But if you're planning to do this I would strongly recommend you to click on this important notice and read through all these notes so you have a better understanding of how this works. And finally you need to click on backup now in order to proceed with the actual backup process. You will now see another pop-up window telling you roughly how long they're expecting this process to take and that you might need to enter your password on your iPhone before the backup starts. So click on OK and wait for it to finish. I'm just going to skip this till the end. Right, the backup is now completed. Now let's assume you lost your device or you broke it or bought a new one or whatever and you want to restore your data on your new device. To do that you just need to follow the exact same steps like before. So open DMOB iPhone Manager, connect your iPhone to your computer and click on backup and restore. It's just that this time you're going to select this tab right here which says restore backup files. And in here you will see details about your previous backups like the name of the device, the iOS version, the file size, 
and the date when this backup was made. So select the one you want and click on restore now. Just keep in mind that if your new device is running on an older version of iOS, you won't be able to restore your data. Like for example, if your new device is running on iOS 15 and the backup you want to restore was made on iOS 16, you would have to update your iPhone first to iOS 16 and only then you can proceed with restoring your data. And that's pretty much it. If you are going to use the DearMob iPhone manager to back up your data on your computer, then I would like to hear from you in the comment section. And if for some reason you decide to purchase an iCloud plan to back up your iPhone, then check out this next video to find out something that no one is telling you about it.